Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to my channel. So I recently signed up for one month free of Google Play Pass just to test it out. And basically what Play Pass is, is a, it's a subscription service and you pay a monthly fee and get access to a bunch of apps for free. And there are a bunch of different types of apps. There's games, there's productivity apps, basically a little bit of everything. Now the selection isn't the best if you ask me, but you do get access to a few different apps. And today I just wanted to go over a few of the photo editing apps. There was more than this, but I just downloaded what looked like the best ones to me. And I just want to show you guys what you can get with Play Pass. Now this isn't an in-depth review of any of these applications. Um, it's going to be very general. I just wanted you to get an idea of the type of applications that you can get if you already have a subscription or if you're thinking about getting a subscription and I think there's a good mix some of the apps are kind of like a jack of all trades and have all types of tools some of the apps are more specialized like for example some of the apps are just for adding graphics or adding text to your photos so there's a little bit of everything in there and I think it's a pretty good variety so hopefully this video can help you out and uh, Let's start with this one first, Mix. Now this one is actually, in my opinion, a pretty good all around photo editing application. So you get tons of options. Now this application can edit both RAW and JPEG files. I'm not going to get into what RAW and JPEG is. There's plenty of videos out there, but most of you out there, if you're just opening your phone or opening your camera app and just taking a picture, chances are you're shooting in JPEG. So this can edit both. And one thing I like about it is it has a dedicated edit tab, which gives you a lot of options. For example, if you just want to adjust exposure and, or saturation or those basic things, gives you all those options here, but then it gets more specialized. If you want to add effects, there's a bunch of effects that come with this. Um, everything's free, like I said, because of Google Play Pass. Um, and there's a lot of cool, like, little niche stuff in there. Like, for example, if you want to add blur to your photos, you can. Like, I could do that, and I could adjust it. Uh, it's not going to come out as good as, for example, if you're own camera software does it you know with two different lenses but it's something and at least it gives you the option a lot of these options like a lot of people won't use but it's just cool that it has it and you could play around with them it also has hsl sliders this is something that like for example adobe lightroom has as well um, adobe lightroom you can get that for free but if you want to edit raw photos you got to get the paid um, you have to have a subscription to Adobe, but you can get the mobile version and edit your JPEGs for free, but it has stuff like this. So basically you can get, you can dial in like the colors and adjust saturation, luminance, um, the hue, and you can choose which color you want to make the changes to. So you can really dial in your, uh, your edits. And another thing I like about this app is it looks like they there's a big community around it too. And for example, like these were all pictures from what I understand that were edited using this application. So if you want to learn how somebody edited this photo, all you have to do is click on it and then it goes through step by steps what adjustments they made. If you want to learn how to edit your photos, like that's a good place to start. Now the next application is called Nebel Film Photo. Now I'm inside it. Now Nebel Film Photo, you do have sliders, just like uh, the first application I showed you, although it's very limited with the amount of options they give you. Like for example, as you see, that's pretty much it. You just have contrast, saturation, warmth, and sharpness. But what this app does really, what it's known for, it it's supposed to give your photos like a film look. So if you go through it, they have a bunch of different filters that mimic certain like film, like remember film, like photo cameras. And they also have just like 
other add-ons like for example you can add these little bokeh balls to your photos and yeah there's a lot of bunch of little filters and stuff and effects you can add now as far as adding text or anything like that to your photos i don't think you can like this is pretty much it you're just adding the filters they give you and these bokeh options pretty much yeah so there's not much to this app but some of you might find something you like in there now the next app is called photo editor now I wasn't a big fan of this one I don't know why it actually has a good amount of options but I don't know maybe I just have to get used to it more but as you see it also gives you the adjustment capabilities like the uh, the first app I showed you so you got your your basic stuff in there your exposure your brightness this and that um, this also gives you options to choose basically these are like color profiles so depending on what you're shooting if you're shooting food or sorry if your picture is of food or something you can change the color profile so it better matches your subject you can touch up your photos for example fix blemishes um, I tried some of these out too and they work pretty they work decent they work pretty well so yeah there's a bunch of stuff in here and you can play around with them For example here you can add color whatever you want you can basically paint your photo starts off as black and white so there's a lot of little cool options that you can just scroll through and just try out and again if you have Google Play Pass these are all free so you can download a bunch of these applications and just see what works you know you can mix and match too but yeah that was pretty much photo editor um, I'm going through these pretty fast mostly because I don't really use these applications myself because like I said I use Adobe but I just thought it was cool to download these just in case you have play pass or you're thinking about getting play pass or you don't have a photo editor you know you can use some of these apps Okay, so the next app we're going to look at is Photo Editor, also called Photo Editor. As you can see, these two have the same name. I actually like this one. It's, it's a very simple layout, and I think that's why I like it. They have everything grouped in these little boxes. So, for example, if you want to use curves, you can just go into the Curve tab and use it. I tried the curves too, and they seem to work pretty well. And for example, they have like frames that you can add. And now some of these you'll find in like the apps we looked at earlier as well. Um, I just didn't go through every option because I just want you guys to get a general idea of what these different apps um, offer and what they look like. It's just some have more than others and there's some um, unique stuff too. Like for example, I've never seen this before. Um, where did it go? This has an option called Pixel. And if you click on it, you can actually go into, like these are the actual pixels. And you can change the color, for example, say I want to change the pixel colors to white. I can change them to white, you know, I already changed them to red. Like I wouldn't have a use for it, but I'm sure somebody out there might. This also has a drawing option, so if you want to add drawings, you can do that too. So a lot of little cool features. And like I said, these are all free, so you can just try them all out and see what you like. Okay, so now we're moving on to Photo Studio. And Photo Studio I found interesting as well because it gives you different options. Like for example, if you want to make a collage, you can go ahead and do that and you can add things like text different photos um, they give you a bunch of pictures that you can download and uh, just like the other editing apps like you got your basic exposure you know your basic sliders your cropping tools um, this also gives you a lot of like if you're into cloning retouching you know getting rid of blemishes they give you a bunch of different options to use you can also add different text to your photos and I'm just going through these quickly. You can add, you know, picture and picture effects, stickers, 
a lot of just interesting things, you know? You can blend different photos together. I'm sure there is a bunch of tutorials on these apps on YouTube already. So if you decide to download one, you can just go on YouTube and check them out. So now you guys know what that one looks like. And the next one we're going to look at is PicLab. Now PicLab is a pretty basic photo editing application. You got your adjustments and you can add text, you know, you can add stickers, um, you can modify your text. So it just gives you tools like that, some basic tools. You have your adjustment sliders, but as you see, they don't give you that many. So I think this is more like of a specialty type of app. Like if you want to modify the text, or, or sorry, like if you want to add text to your photos or add some overlays, stickers, stuff like that, this would be a good app for that. But if you want to make some finer adjustments, I would recommend using one of those other apps because like you saw, there wasn't too many uh, adjustment tools there. And last but not least, we got Pixel Lab. So Pixel Lab, like Pick Lab, Again, it's more of like a specialized app if you want to, you know, make graphics or add text to your photos. Um, you can add different layers and shapes. And this also has just like the basic exposure tools. So that's it, guys. This wasn't an in-depth review at all. I just wanted to show you the variety of photo editing apps that you can get with uh, Google Play Pass. So if you're into photography or, you know, even if you're not into photography and you just like making art with pictures and stuff like there's a lot of tools here that you can use and you can mix and match and just do what's right for you. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if it helped you out. Subscribe to my channel if you like tech videos like this. Anything else you want to see from Google Play Pass, let me know. And if possible, I'll make a video about it. If there's anything, just let me know down in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.